Hi, my name is Robert Rose. I'm the curator here at Miami Seaquarium, right here in Miami, Florida. Well, dolphins live in a pod, and they live in a social structure, and, um, and it's because of that um, they have their little families that uh, have typically their dominant males, um, the females, the mature females that have calves, and then you have sub-adults, which can be either males or females, and that really breaks up into their, their social structure, and that's how they, they live as a family, or as what we say as a pod, and that's how they travel around and uh, live life, either by, by ha breeding or by chasing food or frolicking or or just kind of swimming around and enjoying uh, the ocean's waters or actually here at the, at the Flipper Lagoon. Uh, killer whales are very similar. I mean, they're the largest member of the dolphin family and their social structures are very, very similar to Atlantic bottles and those dolphins. There's a lot of research that's been done on the, uh, the killer whale community, good understanding of uh, who are the mothers, the long-term residents, some of the calves that the mothers have had. Um, so there's, there's quite a bit of study that have been done on several different populations. One here in Biscayne Bay with our Atlantic bottlenose dolphin collection. They've uh, done a lot of documented research and have been doing that for over a decade now. There's been a lot of great research done up on the Indian River uh, dolphins up there on the, uh, the East Coast. So a lot of really neat stuff that's been done looking at dolphins, dolphin strosal structure, their families, their communications, um, and their behavior in general.